Welcome back to my channel for a really short, ultra short Leica SL3 episode. And uh, the topic of this episode is the following. A couple of weeks back, I was made aware of a rumor in the web that there might be a software bug in the SL3 firmware, which actually leads to a situation where people completely lost their footage on the cards here. So we have here two cards. We have a compact flash express type B card and an SD card and uh, all the footage for these people was lost, which is a disaster. If you are a wedding photographer, for instance, and that event cannot be repeated, of course, and uh, once in a while all your footage is gone, you will have a really, really big problem. So since I'm talking about this camera all the time on my channel and it's one of the most favorite cameras at all times for me, I have an obligation to report about that bug and dig a little deeper. Let's kick this off. All right, so what's this bug all about? Well, the bug is the following. Let's switch the camera on and let's remove the lens cap here. To get this off. By the way, I have here the, <laughs> let me just talk about that for a moment. I have here the Super Aposumicron SL 21 millimeter widest open F2 lens mounted on my SL3. Turns out this lens is my most favorite lens in the Leica SL lineup. I just love that lens for landscape, street, reportage, what have you. Very nice lens, but that's not the topic of the video. So let's switch the camera on. And uh, now we have here a nice live view. And uh, now if you remember what I told you in my various videos on the Leica SL3, I use very often the standby mode on the camera, which is a very convenient feature. I think Leica did this very well. And turns out when I was shooting with that camera recently with the Leica M lens in New York, I used actually the standby mode very often. It's very simple, you tap it, Camera goes into standby, you see the display going off and uh, you can wake it up by push on the shutter button easily and momentarily. Let's do this. And now the camera is back. And in this way, if you walk, for instance, another five blocks in New York City, in Manhattan, you can save battery capacity and use it just when you need it. Going into standby mode, easy like that, display goes off, power is saved, energy is saved and no consumption, just a little minimum amount of energy is consumed as Leica told us on the influencer event of that Leica SL3, but negligible and then waking it up by a gentle push on the shutter button. Here it is again and it's very fast, very quick, I think is an ingenious feature. But what some people did, and that's of course a mistake and not in line with Leica instructions, is the following. They went into standby mode and then they swap batteries. And that's something you should not do. If you think back to the good old times where you had laptops with replaceable batteries. If you put in Windows your laptop into standby mode, but then take the battery out, of course the standby is not preserved in the status what was there on the computer before. The computer will be switched off because there is no power left. And uh, that's the same for these type of cameras. If you are in standby mode, you actually should not swap batteries because that might kill the preservation of the current status of the camera in the way what you have set up and all of that. Now, what should not happen, of course, is that in the process of going into standby mode and then swapping batteries, the footage on the cards is lost. And that's actually what people reported. They said all of a sudden, all the files I had, all the images I was shooting, for instance, at the wedding, were overwritten and lost. Not possible to recover them again. And that is, as I said before, a disaster. So you should never do that. If you really want to swap batteries, you should follow the instructions by Leica, switch off the camera completely, which means longer pressing the button. Then you see the Leica logo. Now the camera is switched off. Now I can safely replace batteries. But in any case, no matter how you turn this and look at this from different angles, what should never happen is that footage that is written on a compact flash express type B card or an SD card is randomly overwritten and all your images and videos are lost. That's definitely a bug independent of user behavior and whether they follow instructions from Leica or not. Now, my camera here seems not to have that bug. Let me try to reproduce it and see what happens. So let's go into the menu and let's format the cards. Let's go here until storage settings. Here's storage management. Let's go there. Format storage, compact flash express type B card. Let's format it. That will take a couple of seconds and then it will be completed and go back to the menu. Let's also format the SD card. Say yes, I have nothing important on these cards. I checked that before, of course. 
so don't worry. And now we have empty space in the camera. If I go on the play button, no valid picture to play. That's good. So let's take a picture now with that beautiful 21 millimeter Super Aposomicron. Let's check that the image ended up on the cards. Let's go into play. If you go into play, here's the image. You see it, I can pinch to zoom, what have you, looks really good. It's a fantastic lens, did I already mention? Anyway, so that's the picture. Let's go back into live view. And now let's try to reproduce that error. Let's go into standby mode. Watch the display fading out. Done. Let's take the battery out. Let's wait for a moment. Let's see what happens if I wait here for a few seconds. Let me hold that camera and now let's get the battery back. Let me see. So we swap it in. Let's switch the camera on and let's see if the image is still there. I'm now here in live mode. You see this? Easy like that. Let's push the play button and then the image is still there. I can zoom in. You see this? The image is still there. So my camera does not have that bug and is currently on the old firmware. Let's check this quickly. Let's go here to where are we? Camera information. Let's go here to firmware and that's firmware 1.1.0, which is not the newest firmware. Now, Leica of course reacted to these rumors and the rumors turned out to be true. And they also published a remark and a comment on the download page for the Leica SL3 actually reporting about that bug and telling people that there are certain cameras which are affected by that bug and people should be careful and follow instructions and completely switch the camera off before they swap batteries. But they also said they will of course publish immediately a firmware update fixing that bug because as I said, footage on cards, written on cards, no matter what you do with the camera should never be affected even if you don't follow protocol. And uh, I got notification from the Leica store in Zurich from my friend Carlos yesterday who sent me a WhatsApp and said the new firmware is out. So what we are going to do now is we'll actually switch the camera off. We'll take out the compact flash express type B card. And uh, I will now place the new firmware file on this card. Then we'll do the update process. And then you also have seen some instructions, at least in this video, how to get this done in a safe way. Updating the Leica SL3 with newest firmware is actually very simple. I have on the right hand side here the root folder of my Compact Flash Express Type-B card, which is typically sitting in my Leica SL3. And on the left hand side, I have a folder on my MacBook Pro, which contains the release notes and which also contains the new firmware file. And uh, if we quickly look into the release notes, there is actually not much going on than just error correction and an improvement in terms of optimizing the connection to the Leica Photos app, which I highly recommend using, which you could also use, by the way, to update the firmware on the Leica SL3, but I'm doing it here the classical way. And here's again a description of the error, sporadic error that resulted in unnoticed overwriting of existing recordings. If the camera was not properly turned off beforehand, e.g. during battery replacement in standby mode or after an unexpected software interruption correction of errors in the firmware. So they very likely find a few more bugs which they corrected and that's what this is all about. So what I'm going to do now is I drag and drop the firmware file and drag it from my MacBook Pro onto the Compact Flash Express Type-B card. Then I eject the drive and uh, will continue in the studio and update the camera. As I've just shown in the video, the new firmware file is now on this Compact Flash Express Type-B card. So let's actually open the card slot door here. Let's get the card in, simple like that. And let's switch the camera on again. Here we go. So let's go in the menu to the last page again. Sorry, I jumped over it. Here we go. Camera information. Let's go in camera information now to firmware. Let's go to firmware, firmware update. And then you actually see something going on here on the LCD screen. And now it asks me, do you want to start the update to version 1.19? And uh, if you remember what I showed before, currently on the camera is 1.10 and I'm saying yes. And then the camera, do you want to save profiles on Compact Flash Express Type-B card? Yes, of course, if you have set them up, that's useful. And now the firmware update is in progress. And now the camera will do its thing. And I will stop the video here because there's nothing more to report about this bug. I've said what I said and uh, I cannot show now that it is fixed because my camera was not affected by that bug. But here's my serious warning. If you are like a Leica SL3 shooter, install that firmware update under all circumstances. 
because even if you cannot reproduce the error like I did, you don't know whether in certain constellations in the software all of a sudden this error will occur. And now I can probably guarantee by the statements I heard from Leica that this bug is eliminated once and for all. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel, there's always more to come. Thanks for watching, stay safe and healthy and of course, peace out.